must happen in my life. In this month of October, it doesn't matter what the enemy is doing because God has prophetically ordained this month to be a month of restoration. I will enter into my restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. So the first reading that we read in the book of Zacharias, if you can quickly go there, Zechariah chapter 9, the verse number 11. Hallelujah. God is going to usher us into restoration. I pray and prophesy in the name of Jesus that by the end of this month, you shall be restored. Certain things that you are believing God for, you will see restoration in it. In the name of Jesus, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible says in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11, it says that as for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit where they is no water. Hallelujah. You see, God has a black covenant with us. There is a covenant that God has with us. And the covenant that God has with us as believers, as Christians, and as God's people, as sons and brothers of God, the covenant that we have with God, it is a black covenant. Somebody say, my covenant that I have with Jehovah my God is a black covenant. Hallelujah. And in this month, say, say in this month, I will be restored to the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. So Zacharias, in his day, he was a prophet of the nations of Israel. The Bible said that God used him and he prophesied to the people of Israel. And now God is also speaking to us expressly by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because we find ourselves in this month of October, which is the 10th month of the year, God is going to restore us to the blood of the covenant. Hallelujah. There is nothing that can restore us fully to give us restoration of all things that pertains to our life and godliness than the blood of Jesus. Because the Bible says that the blood of Jesus is the highest blood that has ever been sacrificed. Hallelujah. There has been a lot of sacrifices that have been made from ancient times up to now. But the blood of the Lamb is the highest blood. Somebody say the blood of Jesus is the highest blood. Hallelujah. That is why when God sent Moses to Pharaoh, and he sent Moses to go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. God had already spiritually made the blood of Jesus available in those days. And so when Moses went for nine times to the palace of Ahab to Pharaoh, and he declared that God said, let my people go. And Pharaoh refused. Pharaoh refused. God allowed Moses to perform 10 miracles. Hallelujah. And the last miracle that he performed was the miracle of the blood. Hallelujah. Somebody say the miracle of the blood. I pray and prophesy over your life. Everything that has caused pain and difficulty in our life in this year, as we find ourselves in this month of October, which is the month of restoration, May God, by the blood of the covenant, uh, restore us of all things in the name of Jesus. If you believe that sound, I believe it. I see God restoring us. God is going to restore us by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Because the blood of Jesus has power over every other blood. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, For we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the way of our testimony, I pray the name of Jesus uh, that by the end of this time, may the blood of Jesus give you a testimony. Give you a testimony. If you believe that sound, I believe I receive. 
Say to your neighbor, my neighbor, in this land, which is the restoration land, the blood of Jesus will give me a testimony in every area of my life. As I begin to clap my hands and pray, I command restoration of my life. Right now, Restoration in the life of our children. Restoration in our jobs. Restoration in our businesses. Restoration in our finances. Restoration in the nations of the world. We pray for divine restoration to the manifested of both the nations of the earth. Grab your hearts and pray. Master Katana. Give your brother a hand. Give your brother a hand. Rafa Kerelea. Rafa Kerelea. Rafa Kerelea. Rafa Kerelea. Rafa Kerelea.
with God. And that covenant that he had with God, his brothers were not able to kill him. Hallelujah. They put Joseph into the pit. The Bible says that they all came together and they threw him into the pit to kill him. But God had a covenant with Joseph. Say to my neighbor, say my neighbor. Do you know that you have the covenant with Jehovah God God Almighty? And that covenant that you have with Jehovah, no power of the enemy will be able to destroy your life in the name of Jesus. I say, clap my hand right now and then clap every piece, every hole, every empty hand that for me. May that blood and may that was of the enemy and his blood put your hands Clap your hands and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, every priest, every demonic priest, every sonar priest, every priest that the enemy has designed against my life, my family, my children, my finances, my job, my world, my spiritual work with you, my relationship with you, let that priest be destroyed by the power of the Lamb. By the power of the Lamb, clap your hands and pray. My name is the Lord, my God, my I pray the words of I destroy every attack and every conspiracy of the enemy against the lies in Jesus' name. Say amen. So, Joseph. Having to find himself in the pit because his brothers envied him, his brothers hated him. But because of the covenant that he had with God, God delivered him out of the pit. Hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, my neighbor, every peace, every hole that you find yourself in, every struggle that you find yourself in, by the blood of the covenant, you are being delivered. You are being delivered. God is taking your heart from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together and give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. God is going to deliver us from every activity of the enemy that comes our way. Hallelujah. It does not matter what the enemy plans against us. God will deliver us because we have a blood covenant with Him in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Isaiah chapter 61, the verse number 7. Isaiah chapter 61, the verse number 7. Amen. Because of your covenant with God, God will restore everything about your life in Jesus' name. Say amen. Isaiah chapter 61, the verse number 7. Praise the Lord. That was the first scripture that we read. The second scripture, hallelujah. It says, For your shame, ye shall have trouble. For your confusion, ye shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double everlasting, everlasting joy that shall be unto them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say to your neighbor, my neighbor, everything that the enemy has programmed to become a disappointment in your life, God is going to turn it for your good in Jesus' name. As I begin to pray right now, I command every disappointment in my life to be destroyed. Clap your hands and destroy it right now. Yes, that I will say that. Sakaya, 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 Saka
is up. In the activity of the enemy, against my life and power, it is Lord, it is Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost, as I clap my hands, as I continue to pray, I destroy the spirit of disappointment, I destroy the spirit of limitation, I destroy the spirit of lack, I command uh, everything uh, that is a disappointment in my life, in the life of my children, my church, my finances, uh, uh, my marriage, uh, be destroyed, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, shall be amen. So the Bible says, He said, For your sake, we shall have double. Anything that the enemy wants to bless in your life as a shame, may you have double. May God take it. To be double in your life. Say, I receive double. Say, I receive double of everything that I have lost from the beginning of the year. Everything that Satan has stolen in my life uh, by my prayer and through the blood of Jesus, uh, I recover it. I recover it. I recover it. Somebody say, I recover. So the Bible says, He said, for your sake. You shall have trouble. You see, the enemy always wants us to walk in shame and disappointment. Satan always wants us to walk in disgrace. But I came to declare to you uh, that God will take your disgrace to grace. Somebody say, My disgrace will turn into grace. In the name of Jesus, put your hands and begin to clap your hands and pray. Say, In the name of Jesus, every disgraceful thing. That the enemy wants to bring into my life. I command the power of the blood of Jesus to turn every disgrace in my life to grace. Grab the house and pray right now. 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 God is 
is going to release the joy of the Lord upon our life. And that will be our strength. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, say amen. He continues and he said, He said, And for the Allah, they shall possess trouble. Everything about our lives will become double. God will bring increase. God will bring abundance. God will bring multiplicity. That is restoration. What is restoration? Restoration is the process of receiving what the enemy has taken from you. And when God restores you of everything that the enemy has stolen from you, God never gives you back the same thing. What God gives you is that it gives you double. Hallelujah. In the scriptures, I have never seen any, any prophet or any patriarch that God used that lost, that God did not, God did not restore that person to abundance. We read last week that Job, who was an upright man, Job, the Bible says he was perfect, he was upright. In Job chapter 1, Job chapter 1, Job chapter 1. I see God restoring us to the place of abundance. Somebody say, I receive abundance. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Job, in Job chapter 1, that he was a perfect man. He was upright. But the devil attacked Job. And listen to what the Bible says. He said, There was a man in the land of Uz. Uz is in the Middle East. It's, it's in between um, it's in between the Israel and the, uh, the Middle East. Hallelujah. And in his days, he was the richest man that ever lived. The Bible says that, and there was a man in the land of Uz who, who was named Job. And that man was perfect. He was perfect. He was a righteous man. The Bible says he was perfect and he was upright. God loved Job so much because Job was obedient and Job was diligent. And God blessed him so much. And the Bible says that he feared God. Not only was he perfect, not only was he upright, but he also feared God. And the Bible says he eschewed evil. He hated evil. But the Bible says that, and God and Satan attacked Job. With how Job feared God and was obedient and diligent to God, Satan still attacked Job. I came to prophesy to you tonight that anything that God has given to you, that Satan is attacking it. Uh, may God uh, remove Satan out of your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every group of people that Satan has positioned them, has deployed them as messengers of Satan in our lives uh, to monitor us, uh, to laugh at us, uh, God is bringing us to the place of restoration. Hallelujah. If you believe that, stand up below. Everybody that you have been laughed after, I hear in the spirit, God is going to turn your life around into the place of joy. If you believe that, stand up below. In Job chapter 42, verse 10. Job chapter 42, verse 10. Now we'll do the last teaching. And then we'll pray. God will restore us. Whenever God restores us, He restores us into abundance. And that is why the Bible says in the book of Job chapter 10, verse 10, that Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. When God restores us, He restores us to the abundance, to the overflow. Hallelujah. And that will be our hope in this month and for the rest of the year. If you put that sound and deliver and see. Amen. Job chapter 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Somebody said with me, My captivity will be turned around by the blood of Jesus. My captivity. Who will turn around by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says that, and the Lord take the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends also. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. 
So what he had before, the blessing that he had, he was so rich. When he prayed, and after God delivered him from the affliction and the attacks of the enemy, God did not give him back the blessing that he had before, but God gave him double twice as much as he had. Amen. And I see that coming upon us in the name of Jesus. Save me in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, turn every captivity in our life around into abundance. As I clap my hands and I pray, I receive abundance of restoration in every area of my life. Put your hands together, clap your hands and pray right now. Shake your hands and pray. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's pray. Masaka Tala Mataya. In the Masaka Taya. God is bringing us to restoration. He's restoring up things in our lives. Uh, the things that we have lost uh, from the beginning of the year up to now. God is bringing us to the place of abundance. Every community in our life is being turned around. It's being turned around. We are still going to clap your hands and pray. Masaka Tala Mataya. Be destroyed 
Put your arms together and pray. That the Father of our heart, every time we give you a prayer in my life, they are arrested, they are by fire, by the blood of Jesus. Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 